Hey guys and welcome to Fez Air Software. Today I'm going to unbox this One Tigris Minimalist Pistol Holster and review it and test it out. Hey guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy this content today, please do consider liking, commenting and subscribing because those interactions help the channel grow and get seen by the YouTube algorithms. You want to support the channel a little bit more? Channel memberships are open using the join button down below. 99 pence a month gets your custom videos, bloopers, your own giveaways, your own private chat on the Discord. Uh, Fez merch is now for sale using the link tree link down below. Go to fezmerch.co.uk and you can buy hoodies, beanies and all that kind of stuff. Again, supporting the channel. Both massive, optional, but totally appreciated, massively appreciated if you do it. Last but not least, make use of the uh, link tree link down below that will take you to all of my socials, including my Discord. So make sure you come along, say hello, and get involved in the great community I've got going, particularly on Discord. So, first of all, massive shout out to Antigris for sending me uh, a collection of items to test out. Uh, so they've sent me the chest rig which is absolutely fantastic. I really like that. Uh, they've sent me this holster as well and a padded pistol belt, both of which have got their own separate videos. So I am excited to have a go at this. The only one Tigris product I've used before these is the tactical dog harness, which I'll put a link to down below, where my little gorgeous cute dog, Teddy, who's a little blind dog, um, looked ace in it, uh, and I genuinely was impressed at the quality of it. So we've got here this minimalist adjustable holster. Um, which I am not sure what that is, but oh, I bet that goes in to retain it. I bet that goes in to help retain it. I think maybe we'll figure that out shortly. So we've got a holster then that starts off about 22 to 25 pounds in the UK from Amazon in a choice of about five different colors. Uh, this one is a coyote one. Now I do massively appreciate that this came with a little tiny one tigris uh, patch and I really like how tiny and cute that actually is. So we've got lots of adjustment space and availability in here to basically make this work for a variety of different size pistols. So first of all, I've undone these straps and I can loosen those off and it's Velcroed under here. So I can slot my pistol into this and then get it secured down to the size I need. I've then got a buckle up, pop buckle on top and a Velcro holder on top to put over the sort of under the hammer or whatever to retain it securely again those are adjustable from the right hand side here it can be pulled up and adjusted and pulled through just remove that for two seconds and then we've also got a strap here that can be adjusted forwards or backwards dependent on you know we, we all know somebody that likes a uh, flashlight on the pistol, extra attachments, uh, RMR sights and things like that. This is going to be ideal for those sort of people, you know, to adjust and get this sitting right for your particular pistol, as well as being able to obviously mount it then onto a padded belt or something like that. So you've got bags of room there to adjust for all sorts of different uh, shapes and sizes. And obviously the adjustability is just absolutely fantastic on that. Then paired with the fact that it is a right-handed holster, get it on your um, right hip and you've got a quick draw, sort of almost quick draw um, holster there to just draw down when you run out or changing stances or changing even environments that you're in. If you're coming from outside to indoor, maybe you want to switch to your pistol. So what I've got here is a couple of pistols that I just happen to have laying about. So I'm just going to generally set it up at the uh, original sort of positioning and then we'll have a look at how these fit. So I've got two. I've got the uh, Double Eagle P80 sort of Glock, uh, Janus P80 uh, Glock from Double Eagle. So that is going, oh no it does go in. So it's gone in rather nicely actually uh, and it's is entirely being held by the sort of pistol grip uh, at the top of the holster there. And that is just on the default setting that's come. I've not even needed this retention loop. So when I split this out, that is coming out really nicely uh, and going in really nicely. Uh, I could open that up for a little bit more room just because it's catching on the trigger guard there, but it does go in rather nicely. I am entirely happy with that. The other thing I've got is uh, the SEMA uh, CM125 AEP as well, a little bit bigger and weightier than the P80 and even that in the default setting 
is going in really nicely and easily and coming out and going straight back in. Uh, and then obviously clicking the button down, putting the Velcro around the top if you want. That's not coming out at all without clicking and doing that. So if, particularly if you've got a pistol and it's got accessories on, I mean, there's more than enough room in there to get a small torch. I can open this up and adjust it and it's got even more room for a torch as well. Um, and even, a, to be fair, a suppressor if this had the um, mounting uh, attachment for it. Um, you're, you're opening up a, a world of being able to carry um, a non-standard design, basically. You know, this is great initially for just your bog standard no rmr site particularly the p80 which can take an rmr site no torch on the front no suppressor you know this holster has got the adjustments in it to allow you to mount those things and carry it in a holster and get it mounted or uh, on a, a belt kit as well um, the mole straps themselves are the sort of reinforced i can get it out I'll go lift that up shove that under there so they are sort of reinforced with like plastic inside so they're firm and rigid you've got four loops there but you'd only end up probably using two because you go in under one over because obviously the um whatever you mounting it to would sit there then under another and, and then lock down at the end so it's going to be a really secure attach in to whatever you're mounting it on uh, and again, this is really, really light that, you know, there's just next to nothing in it. Put your pistol in it, you, you've got the added weight of the pistol, but again, it just, it just doesn't feel very heavy. Uh, and obviously, if it's an essential piece of kit for you, then that's important. So, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go and play Airsoft, take this, use it. I'm going to put my uh, Glock AEP in it, my Tokyo Marui, when I find it. I'm going to get some videos. I'll, uh, I'll try a few other people's pistols in there as well and adjust it around and things and see how it goes. And then I'll come back and give it my final thoughts and uh, of this holster. See you in a minute. Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you uh, enjoyed those few bits of video clips uh, and things that I put on there for your entertainment uh, and enjoyment uh, to see it in use. Um, so the one tigris holster then. Uh, so I mounted that on the belt that one tigris sent me, um, the padded patrol belt, uh, and ran it on my right hip. And throughout the day and in the videos you saw, I tried a few different pistols and pistol combos and adjusted uh, some of the positioning of different things and what have you and found that it was really versatile. I didn't think it was going to cope with things quite as well as it did. Um, and it just kind of laughed, laughed it off and got on with it. So one of the ones I used was my TM Glock 18C. Uh, AEP and that goes in absolutely perfectly uh, and as you saw in the video I even mounted it in here with the great big massive Osprey 45 cowl spray, uh, suppressor uh, and again it's a little bit longer draw to get it out but it 
it, it fit, took it absolutely happily, and I still could have mounted the, the flashlight on there as well and had that had that in there mounted on it. The only thing to watch is if your trigger guard is this sort of style, it's not rounded off the other way, it's sort of protruded. I did find at times I was catching it on the holster like that. Uh, again, it's more just technique than anything. But to counter that, I can easily just open this up a little bit more, just allowing that little bit more depth, and it would have gone in perfectly anyway. Um, so obviously, if I am running it a little bit more snug, like a, a like to like this, um, it's just a, a matter of technique that you make sure you get it forward uh, and, and down. But it dealt with that really well. It dealt with my son's CM127 AEP as well, and it dealt with the um, Double Eagle P80 um, sort of Glock variant as well. Again, no adjustment, but it's a little bit wobbly backwards and forwards, but it was snug in there. Most of the time, this is a little bit heavier than this uh, without its magging. Um, but even then, I didn't lock it down. I didn't use the retaining clip and found that it, it stayed. It didn't go anywhere. Um, you know, I do like to make a lot of quick movements. I was going to say running movements then. That's probably too strong a word of it. We'll, we'll just call it a fast-paced walk between cover. Um, or we'll call it a hurried bimble between cover. Um, and even then, you know, the thing didn't go anywhere. It's got plenty of depth to it that you're just not going to lose anything out of there easily. Um, so really fantastic piece of kit. Love the adjustment in it. Absolutely bags of adjustment. Um, sat really well on the belt. Uh, was really, really easy to thread. Uh, and using the tool that came with it to thread down and help bring everything back through uh, made things much easier as well and quicker. I fought through the most of the first one and then realised that the tool, removed the tool, used the little uh, strip to push it down and things just slid through a lot quicker and easier which uh, made my life happier. Absolutely fantastic holster. Massive shout out to Antigris for sending me this and letting me uh, review and use it. Again, this is going to become a part of my everyday um, kit now and will be transferred between this one um, and my um, Polish gear when I wear that as well because it is such a good holster and the fact that I've just got the one to cover all eventualities is fantastic. So, hope you enjoyed that. I've immensely enjoyed myself. Uh, please do remember to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.